When people fall on hard times, many in Camp County are looking in God's closet for the help they need. East Texas News Weekend's Lane Lucky shows you how they're fighting hunger and working to give hope through the power of prayer. A caravan of cars line up at Emanuel Baptist Church in Pittsburgh. They're waiting to make a short drive to God's Closet in downtown. Look at that, 9.30, they're gone. Orderly and efficient, this drive through food distribution is one of the only ways some families can make ends meet. Because you don't know who's desperate when they're coming in for food, you don't. You can't judge by the car anymore. Outside the back door, Rex Davis and a small army of volunteers are eager to do the Lord's work. You have to get out of the four walls. You have to walk the community and give water to the thirsty, clothes to those without clothes, and food to the hungry. 15 tons of food move through here each month. With the pandemic, the number of families taking part is now well over a thousand. These are people that are God's children. But they're not treated as numbers. These are neighbors familiar faces. I didn't want people making desperate choices. We want them to be provided for and know they're loved. Aletha Smerden has organized the ministry since day one. I called all the churches in the county to invite all of them, whoever wanted to come and be a part of it, to come and be a part of it. Seven churches have provided the manpower, supplies, and financial support since 2009, with each congregation rotating staffing assignments. Denomination does not make any difference at all. We're just here to help one another. From sorting donations, managing paperwork, to unloading deliveries from the East Texas Food Bank. Here, no active service is insignificant. Gee, I don't, I'm not sure we could make it without the help of others. You know, we have a, we have a tremendous amount of help. And that generosity comes from across Camp County. A steady stream of drop-offs keeps the thrift shops stocked with unique finds, clothes, and collectibles. All the proceeds go back into running the food pantry. Right back here at the grocery department. Volunteer Manny Pasillas helps clients navigate the process. Their income and family, number of people in the family, that determines how many articles of food they can get. We have frozen meats and we have dry goods and canned goods and we have a good assortment. But it's the power of prayer directing this loaves and fishes approach to feeding the multitudes. If God puts that need on our heart, then we say we can do that. We haven't ever, I don't think we've ever turned anything down. You might have to convince me. <laughs> Lane Lucky, East Texas News Weekend. God's Closet operates its drive through pantry every Saturday, as well as the first Monday of the month. The resale shop on Jefferson Street in downtown Pittsburgh is open Monday through Saturday.